Hi everyone, this is Richard from Scott Country International. Just to let you all know, we have now resolved the issue with the battery runtime on the HIC Micro Condor CQ50L. We spoke um, to the guys at Lee Optical and HIC Micro themselves to let them know that the battery runtime wasn't as expected. They have now put uh, an update onto the HIC Micro application and you can download that directly onto your unit, which will now resolve the issue. Since the firmware update, I've, I've been out with it. I was out deer stalking yesterday and easily had over three hours runtime on one battery. And bear in mind, it does come supplied with three. So that should stand you instead for a uh, good stead for most sessions, either foxing or deer stalking. So that's brilliant. That's been updated. Um, the spotter itself has still been absolutely brilliant for me. Uh, my mates, Danny and Craig and Derek, they've all bought one of these. Um, they're quick with the feedback. Um, something that they didn't know and they now know is this button here, second in from the top, for the laser rangefinder, touch it once quickly to activate it and two quick presses to switch it off. So there you go. The base mag has also been updated. It now goes from three times mag up to 24 times mag. Um, some more details on it. The detection range is 2,600 metres. Laser rangefinder up to 1,000 metres. It's got a 640 by 512 uh, 12 micron sensor on it. With regards to what makes this different, you'll see from my video that was posted on Thursday from Scott Country International, it's all about the Zoom um, Pro and the Image Pro. Uh, you don't get any pixelation. You'll see the Fox footage from last Thursday where I zoom in over 500 yards um, on the uh, Zoom Pro. And when you go in in that magnif magnification, I think it was 16 times, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but the pixelation just doesn't happen. It's not there with this unit. This is one hell of a spotter. And now with the update for the battery runtime, makes it a real contender for probably the best handheld one I've used uh, out with uh, the thermal binoculars. So, yep, yeah, that's the update. It's there for you now. Um, so, that should solve a lot of queries that we've had. And... Uh, I'm away out foxing. I don't know about you. Uh, have a great new year and I'll speak to you all again soon. This has been Richard from Scott Country International. All the best. Cheers.